Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Fairy Vixen here, back again with another, ouch, Manicure Monday. Um, yep, I'm going to show you some more stuff that I got. I don't have any um, uh, swatches for you today, but I can show you what I got from uh, What's Up Nails. They do decals and stuff. And my first prize here is a, I can open it, it is a nail mat. Now, if you've never seen one of these, it's made of silicone, and you can paint the nails, and then do your art on the nails, and then let them dry. Let them dry, and then peel them up and put them on your nails. So you can make your own decals with this. I didn't use this the last time uh, I did my nails. I did a... For Halloween, I did Sally uh, Skellington on this side, and... Um, what's his name? Jack Skellington on this side, and I did his face. I didn't use this, but I used a plastic bag. So if you don't have one of these... You can do the same thing with a nice plastic bag. You paint like a little oval, and then you do your art on it, and then you peel it up after it dries. Put on some uh, top coat, and put it down, and tap it down, tap it down, tap it down. And then uh, clean up around the edges, and get all the extra off, and you're good to go. So I got this because I want to do a lot of uh, artwork. So and it's so hard to like paint on your nail. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to paint on your nails. Um, so this is like a handy dandy trick. And if you don't want to spend the money to get one of these, you can use a regular kitchen Ziploc bag, and it works just as well. You just don't have the um, the nail shape. Now the thing is, these nails are way bigger than mine. They're way wider, so I'm going to have to learn, you know, about where, yeah. I'm going to have to learn. It's going to be a new thing for me, and I'm, I can't wait to try it. And I guess, I guess you could put down um, your design, and you can add your gems and all that other crap on top of it, too, and well, I don't know if you can or not. I have never tried it. It's a new thing for me. And now we have... I got a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of basics is what I got. So, oop, what do we got here? Oh, I got some freebies. I got some bats. We'll put them away for next year. See them, little bats? Cute. All right, and then I have, since I do jewelry, I have little chains. So I thought chains would be good. And I also got little diamonds. So I'm going to do chains and diamonds at some point. And that'll be fun. And then I got a whole bunch of straight lines. Those. And then I got some Ziggy Zaggies. And then I got some Chevrons. And some plain old straight lines. I do have um, striping tape, but they're very, very thin. These are a little wider, and I can do a little more different things with them. Um, I got two of the straight line ones. Oh, dude, I didn't think I got three. Oh, wait. Three. I got three of the straight lines? I didn't think I did that, but okay, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine, too. I got some ovals. These are good for um, doing French tips with. Keeps your lines nice and straight. And I got some circles. Circles. 
And if you've never used these, the idea is you paint your nails and then you let them dry and then you put on your little whatever design you want and then you paint over that with the color that you well okay so you have the base color underneath and that's what the zigzag would be and then you paint over top and then immediately you peel it off if you let it sit it'll mess up your lines so you gotta you paint over top of it and then you pull it right off and then you get you get a perfect design so we're gonna have fun with that we are going to have fun I don't know if I showed you I might have. I think I showed you the other ones that I got. So that's my basics. Every now and then I'll just add something fun. Um, I was going to do the graveyard ones when I did my... I had them from the same company. But they were really, really thin. They were so thin that when I put them on and pulled them off, they broke. Um, they were really quite bad. I was upset. So I chucked them. I chucked the whole, the whole sheet. The thing is, the sheet is like three dollars, so it's not awful. It's not awful, awful expensive. But you know, you still you don't want to have to chuck things. So I did write on their website. Um, I sent them a little review and said that the the graveyards were terrible, but the Spider webs were great. Spider webs worked really good. Let's see, do I have anything else I wanted to show you? I do have some oddball um, polishes that are kind of, you know, I got them and they're they're oddballs. They're not a brand, really. These are from China. These are. Uh, mirror nail polish supposedly but I don't think they're gonna be and then I did a polish pickup which is a monthly thing it's like almost like a subscription but you pick what you want each month so I got this one these were for both for Halloween and I didn't use either one this one is light my fire by KB shimmer and it's a magnetic one but I don't have a magnetic wand yet uh, I do have magnets though. Let me see. Let me pull this off of here and see what it does. Wait. You can't really see it moving. Ah, there you go. Now you can see it. It pulls the magnetic bits around in there. That's really pretty. I can't wait to wear that one. Maybe I'll wear that one next because it's still fall and it's very pretty fiery fall colors. Look at that. Ooh, pretty. And that's almost got like a duochrome to it too. See, it's got a little yellow tinge to it. Very nice. And then it's got some black, like black ashes. So that's what that one is. And then we have... Black Dahlia is another one that I saw that I liked. And this one is called um, Sugar Skull. It's black, of course. I like black, you know, I like black. And it's got these crazy... Oh, too much light. It's got these crazy pretty colors in it. Wait, <laughs> let's try this again. Let's get rid of this. Oh, the torch isn't even on. <laughs> Maybe I need the torch on. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. For black. I mean, it's really pretty for black. So, I guess we could use our wheel from last week and put these guys on it. I'm not real picky about what I put on my wheels, I guess. So let's start with the black dahlia and see what it looks like. It looks.
looks like it's a jelly. And it's going to take a couple of few coats. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks really dark on the thing. But it isn't. It is not opaque. Okay. And then we're going to do the KB Shimmer. Light my fire. Next. But I don't like the cap on this. It's just too short and too shiny. you got to undo it all the way before you can do anything. All right. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. And that's just one coat. I wish I had a wand. I don't know how to use that. I think it's pretty without messing with the magnets. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's turn that off. Let's see what we get. It's got some flakes in it, too. That's pretty. Gosh. Ooh. I really like the colors in the sugar skull. This one's almost a one coater. Look at that. You don't even need a second coat of that. And now let's try these guys. These guys are probably really, really. Because most of the ones that I buy are like, they're free of a lot of the toxic chemicals. But these are straight from China, so they might not be. Um, let's see what kind of brush they have. It's kind of wide. I don't mind wide brushes. I like them. Oh boy, these do smell quite a bit different than the other ones. Oh, look at that. Pretty color. And they're not really mirrored. They're just a little bit... Oof. God, that's an awful smell. <laughs> Huh, so maybe we won't be using those very often. And then we have this one. It's kind of a... I like the, the color. It's like a coral, orange, pink, weird, weird... It's with a weird shade, so I picked it up. And of course... Oh my god, the smell is terrible. I mean, I thought nail polish smelled bad in general, but... Damn... This is a very fun color. I like it. Really pretty. It goes on in one coat. Really nice. It looks really red in the camera. It's a lot more orange. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> I don't know if I can deal with that. It's awful. Turn the torch on. Off. Wait, off, on, on, off. Yeah, look how red that looks. It's way more orange. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm not going to use the red one very often. It's making my <coughs> throat close up. They might go in the trash. I like the green, but... Uh, I don't think doing a whole manicure with that green would be very good for my lungs. Yeah, that's toxic. Wow. That's what you get when you go to China for stuff. I got that off a of wish, I think. I mean, I've gotten some good stuff off a of wish, but that was like an off, weird Chinese off brand thing. Ooh. Pretty. Thing is, the, the little sparklies aren't 
spreading out very much. They're all they all seem to be gathering up at the front. Oh, I love that though. Ooh, look at them. They're dark. So nice. Oof, it's giving me a headache too. Wow, I'll tell you what. Bye bye. Trash trash. Say goodbye. Brand new. Don't care. They're terrible. Let's see what's in them. Ingredients. Acetate, ethyl acetate, nitrocellulose, acrylates, copolymer, add pick, add pathenone, glycol, tri, melodic, and hydrocopolymer. Denatured alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, stereoconium hectorite silica, may contain a bunch of numbers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> This one does not have any sort of uh, ingredient list. And this one does not either. Halo Taco doesn't either. I think they have theirs on their bottle. And it's so tiny that I can't read it. Oh, hey, look. Beetle acetate, nitrocellulose, yada yada. I understand these a whole lot more than the other ones. Huh, I wonder what's in these that makes them smell so bad and give you a headache. It's terrible. Oh, that green is really messing with my camera. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth keeping these. Sometimes you just make a mistake. And that'll be all I ever have of them. <laughs> I just have to find those colors in, from another brand, I guess, that isn't quite so toxic. Toxic. Ugh. Okay, so there's our four oddball guys that we have. Oh, I did not realize that the fire one also has hollows in it. Look at that. You remember that stuff you used to throw in the fireplace in the fi or in the fire pit that made all the colors in the, in the flames? That's what that reminds me of. Cool. And wow, I don't know what to wear next. Oh, I just wore... I'm wearing the black to red shift right now. Black to red to blue, apparently. I didn't realize. Uh, so I won't be wearing this black for a while. But I do want to get into it at some point. Because it's beautiful. Beautiful. Fuchsia and green and orange. Do we have any blues? Yeah, there's some blues in there. Look. Look at that. Beautiful. Loving that. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember how much this brand was, but I really like this one. KB Shimmer, I've seen. Four and it's like sixteen dollars, I think. This is the magnetic, mag the magnetic ones. I can't even talk right. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this manicure, manicure. I say manicure Monday. Um, yeah, uh, every now and then I'll grab an oddball pol polish, um, but I tend to stick with brands. Holo Taco is my, absolutely my favorite right now. 
and my second favorite I think is OPI. I have more OPI but uh, I don't like it as much. I like their creams. Hollow Taco is all like special effects stuff. Um, anyway, I would like to thank you all for being here. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down there. What did you think? Um, remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.